Hello, in this section we will talk about uh, manometers or application to manometry. So as you can see in the figure we have a U-tube uh, manometer that is open to the atmosphere and we need to measure the pressure in the chamber A relative to the atmospheric pressure. So the fluid in chamber A is separated from the atmosphere by a, another fluid at a density rho 2. So we will try to calculate the pressure PA inside that chamber. So if we apply the hydrostatic formula between the two levels ZA and Z1, so we will have PA at the level ZA minus P1 at the level Z1 equal to minus gamma 1 into ZA minus Z1. Now the pressure P1 across uh, the tube will not change. We have same level, same fluid. And if we take the two points 1 and 2, we have P2 minus P1 should be equal to minus gamma 2 into the difference in level Z2 minus Z1. Since the U-tube uh, manometer is open to the atmosphere, so P2 should be equal to P atmospheric or PA. If we subtract the two equations, we will have PA minus P2, which is the atmospheric pressure, or P small letter A, equal to minus gamma 1 ZA minus Z1 plus gamma 2 into Z2 minus Z1. We can rearrange the equation. So PA plus gamma 1 into ZA minus Z1 minus gamma 2 into Z2 minus Z1 equal to P atmospheric. So if we can read all the levels and we know the atmospheric pressure, we can know from this equation uh, the value of the pressure at A. However, we can use another simple method in order to calculate the pressure at A. So we need to know uh, two things in order to use this method. We should know that the pressure increases downward so it will increase with increasing depths and the pressure decreases upward so it will decrease with increasing elevation so we should we can start uh, at the chamber and we will finish at point so we will go through the tube by starting at the chamber. So at the chamber we have the pressure PA and if we go to the right in a straight line the pressure will not change. There is no change in level so no change in pressure. Then we go downwards so the pressure increases so we should put a plus sign so plus gamma 1 into the absolute value of the difference in the elevation so we'll obtain a positive value between Z A and Z1 now if we go downwards and we move straight to the right and we go upwards by the same amount the pressure will not change so in order to simplify we just jump across to the other side and then we go upwards so if we go upwards the pressure will decrease and that's why we put a minus sign so minus gamma 2 into the absolute value of the difference in elevation it is just to make sure that we obtain a positive uh, value for the difference in elevation so now when we arrive at the atmospheric pressure you put it is equal to P2 or P atmospheric so after 
doing all the operations we will arrive at the destination pressure so we put equal to P2 or to PA now we should know that in order to apply the jump across we need mainly two conditions so the conditions to apply the jump across are first the two points should be at the same level so the two points should be at the same level second the two points the two points should be connected by the same fluid so we should have these two conditions verified together so the two points should be connected by the same fluid so for example if we have this uh, YouTube manometer so this tube manometer has let's say three kinds of fluid a fluid at a density rho 1 and another fluid at a density rho 2 and a third fluid at a density rho 3 and it is open to the atmosphere so this fluid is at a density rho 1 another one is at a density rho 2 and the third one at a density rho 3 so let's say we take this point and if we try to jump across at the same elevation in this uh, in this case we can't say that the pressure is equal since we jump to another fluid at another density rho 3 so we start for example at the density rho 2 and we jump to another fluid at the density rho 3 and the two uh, the two points are not connected uh, by the same fluid so we can't say that these two points have the same pressure so we have same level but the two points are not connected by the same fluid so here we jump from a fluid at a density rho 2 to another fluid at the density rho 3 so, rho 2 and 